With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that in a straight line motion, okay, the distance traveled is proportional to the square root of time taken. Okay, the acceleration of particle is proportional to what? It is given in the question itself that uh, the body is undergoing straight line motion. Okay, and that displacement or you can say distance traveled, which is x, is directly proportional to okay the square root of time taken. Okay, square root of time taken. So if we bring what? If we bring a equal to sign, okay, equality. Then we have to bring a constant k. Let's suppose, okay, k under root t, okay, where k is any constant, okay, any uh, any a uh, proportionality constant, okay. So we all know that uh, what basically the velocity is given by dx by dt, okay. Firstly, one thing or more we we need to uh, do over here that we have we have to write k t to the power one by two, okay, so as to get a clear vision, okay. So now what we'll do? We will differentiate this equation. So what we'll get k, okay, k is a constant. It will come out of the differentiation, t to the power half by dt. So this will be equal to half into k into t to the power minus half. Okay. Similarly, now what we'll do? Now we will find out acceleration. So if you see acceleration is what? Acceleration is nothing but this is acceleration, not d. This is acceleration a is nothing but dv by dt, which is differentiation of velocity. Okay, so if we differentiate velocity, what we will get since half into k is a uh, constant, so we will bring it out of the differentiation, and we'll put t to the power minus one by two divided by dt. Okay, so this will come out to be what minus one by four k t to the power minus three by two. Understood? So basically, this is our answer. Okay. Uh, so basically, we have acceleration equal to minus one fourth of k into t to the power minus three by two. So we need to find the proportionality. So if you see properly, this is what this is a constant quantity. Okay, this is a absolute constant. Okay, so when we bring a a proportionality sign and remove the equality, we will find acceleration is directly proportional to t to the power minus three by two. Understood? So basically, this is only our answer. Understood? So this is basically our answer. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.